Well, welcome back. Today's Blast from the Past segment will be showcasing the Motorola Model 55B1 AC-DC battery-operated AM radio. This was made in 1955 in the United States of America and is a super heterodyne type radio. It is considered an All-American 5 radio, but it only has four vacuum tubes. The rotating handle also serves as the radio's loop antenna. Let's take a brief look at the radio's interior. Okay, we're back and I've opened up the uh, cabinet. And as you can see, the chassis is invertly mounted at the top. That gives ample room at the bottom of the radio for a 90 volt B battery, which powers the plates, and a 7.5 volt A battery for the filaments. I have temporarily wired in a pigtail to demonstrate the radio using my external modern equivalent batteries. This radio is most portable to the time. We're designed with a selenium rectifier. I'll need to replace it as well as the electrolytic capacitors in the AC power supply section before this radio can safely be used on AC current. Let's take a few moments to take a listen to the radio. Stand by, I'll be right back. Okay, I've taken the opportunity to connect the radio up to the modern equivalent battery packs. I have a battery holder with four D batteries for the 7.5 volt filament current. That's the A battery pack. Then I have the B battery pack providing 90 volts, slightly less than 90 volts. There is 10 9 volt batteries wired in series. So that's what we're getting the power today off of this modern equivalent. I do have the original batteries in front, but they are dead as a doornail. But they're only there just to show you what would have went inside of this radio. I've got the radio setting up on top of my ham radio station, and actually the antenna tuner is hooked up to the outside 80 meter dipole. So it's providing a little inductive couplings to the radio. I tried to use a loop uh, on top, a little loop, uh, to uh, place it nearby the uh, loop antenna, but it really didn't help. So I've just got it sitting on top of my station, and I have the actual uh, built-in loop antenna slightly turned a little bit. Uh, uh, I think it's in fired uh, the direction it's in fired on the loop antenna. So that is pointing just about uh, west, which would be the direction of our local Christian radio broadcasting station. And that's about the only thing I can pick up on this tonight. There's quite a bit of uh, uh, line noise in the area. I, even though I'm not hooked up to the AC current, uh, I'm picking up some line noise from the power lines out in front of the house. So this is probably going to be the only radio station that I can hear. I did hear another one very slightly, but there's a lot of noise. Let me turn the volume up a little on this Motorola.
This radio has a very good tone. I wish I could pick up more than one station. And I would imagine if I was outside of the city somewhere on a mountaintop or something, uh, I could pick up a lot more if I could get away from a lot of this line noise. But it has a larger speaker in it. It's much uh, more bassier tone than you would expect. The cabinet being uh, open without batteries in it would have a little more effect to the bass tone, I would imagine. But it's a pleasant radio to play around with. It works great off of the uh, battery uh, packs. I do need to do some work in the power supply section to get it ready to work on AC. It probably wouldn't do too well on AC and I didn't dare plug it in because that old rectifier and those elect electrolytic capacitors, they do need replacing. But it's going to work well here at the house for on DC. So uh, we're going to take a listen for a few more moments and then we'll just fade right out into the sunset. But thanks a lot for uh, checking us out and watching today. I'll have some more blasts from the past segments coming real soon. I've got some additional radios I'd like to show and even some uh, vintage walkie-talkies that I'd like to show. So with that, let's uh, take a listen and take care. We'll catch you later. Fellowship invites you to attend the first annual gathering with powerful messages from presiding bishop, his grace, Bishop Neil Bielis, Bishop Kenneth Ulmer, Bishop Peter Bismarck, Bishop John Francis, also featuring Bishop I.D. Hughes.